Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. Okay, so I just got off work not too long ago. My brain is mush right now, but I wanted to try to get this up for you guys. because I got it in the mail yesterday and I didn't have time to film or upload yesterday. So I wanted to get this filmed and up for you guys. And that is an unboxing and it's a really cool unboxing because I've never had one of these before and I'm really excited. But it is the Lit Joy Crate Spring 2021 box. So I ordered this as like a one-time thing. I'm not a subscriber as of yet. I ordered this as like a one-time box because the fandoms were really interesting to me. And I've never tried a box from this company. That's actually how I found my reading planner and the addition of Wuthering Heights that I also have but I ordered this box before all of those and it took a long time for it to arrive. Obviously we're towards the end of July before this came, but they had a lot of issues with their stock and their shipments not coming in and not being able to get the boxes out when they wanted to. So that's why it's here now. Again, it is their spring 2021 crate and I'm really excited to see what they have. So let's just get into it. All right, so obviously it comes in this really cool blue box, very similar to Fairy Loop. It's Lit Joy Crate. So let's see what's inside. This month's theme, or I guess this season, they do it, they do boxes seasonally. So I have, obviously I said this a million times, but I have a spring edition. And for this spring edition, it was called Wishes and Curses. That was the theme of this box. So it has this little pamphlet in here. I'm going to like look at it a little bit. Oh, it says read me first. Okay. Congratulations. You have the Wishes and Curses crate. What is Lit Joy Crate? Lit Joy Crate enhances the reading experience by picking each item with care. Every item is directly inspired by the book that's included in this. As you read the book, each item will reveal itself as meaningful. That's cool. What is included in this crate? Lit Joy Crate offers three variations of this crate. The booklet reveals every item we offered this month. What you receive depends on whether you ordered the full crate, book only, or item only option. Look for icons in each product photo to see what is included in your order. Let the joy of reading begin. And it says warning, spoilers ahead. So we'll just stay at this page for now until I can get into these items and then I'll peek at it. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I see is an item inspired by Caraval, which I love. And not gonna lie, the fact that there was a Caraval item in this box is one of the reasons I got the spring crate. But it is this little like wallet pouch thing. I'll have to look exactly to see what it is. But it says, admit one to be used once to gain entrance into Carval. Main gate closes at midnight. It looks like that. And then on the back, it's got this little rose print and those little tints. So let me open this thing up. Yeah, so it looks like this. Oh, and you can clip it to your keys. That's really handy. And then it's a little zipper pouch. So yeah, this is really cool. So you can put like your cards and stuff in this part. And obviously in this part and anything you want and then it clips to your keys or like a backpack this is actually super great because i'm one of those people that like puts my cards in my pockets a lot of time because i don't want to carry a huge wallet or bag so i feel like this was made for me and it's caraval so that's great yeah so this is the caraval zipper pouch super fun i think my husband's home and he's going to totally interrupt as he comes in the front door okay so the next thing i see is this blue silicone-y thing. Let me open it out of the package so you can see it better. So this is like a Cinderella inspired silicone mold. I guess you can use it for whatever you want. But so if you see it here, it is like the pumpkin carriage and it has a silhouette of Cinderella in it. And then the shoe, the glass slipper, obviously. So it's this little silicone mold. That's really cute. I don't know if I've ever gotten anything like this in a box. Let's see what the pamphlet says. Oh, Cinderella ice tray. All right, the next thing I see is inspired by The Princess Bride, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen The Princess Bride, please stop this. Go watch that, then come back. It's a magnetic little like notepad list and it says, as you wish list. <laughs> that's something that the character says all the time is he says, as you wish. So that's super cute. I love that. And I like that it has a magnet because that's really useful to put on your fridge, to keep like grocery lists and all that. Super helpful. All right, the next items are kind of in boxes and stuff, so I'm just gonna go. Okay, so this is a little bamboo wooden box. So it's like a little round box. On the front, it's like stamped and it says, I remember you, which I believe is from the invisible life of Addie LaRue. On the bottom, it says Lit Joy Crate. And you open it up. Oh, 
it's a little like magnetic box so it goes and then it's just hollow inside so that's cute it's really cute and i love bamboo and wooden things yeah and it just says it's an invisible life of addy lure wooden box okay the next thing is in this little box this lit joy crate oh i think i've heard about these it's a little mini teacup so it's got this really cool like swirled design and I think this is Lit Joy Crate's thing, is they do like these mini teacups every so often. And it says teacup and saucer, which I don't see, so I might have to contact them. But little teacup and saucer, and this is inspired by the Devabed series. So that's kind of cute. Okay, what's next? This. Oh! I think this is the saucer, oh my gosh. So it's this huge thing that is like a magic carpet shape to me, but it has like really cool print on it. And I think that's a very intense, very elaborate and cool saucer for this little teacup. That's really intriguing and interesting, that's cool. So I did get the saucer, I guess. It's just way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Well, that's a cool little piece. Okay, it looks like there's this little sticker, and it says, fear and bravery are often one and the same. And it looks like this. And this is from, from Blood and Ash, which also never read, but stay tuned for a future video. But I really like the design of this and the color scheme. It's pretty. Okay, and then it looks like there's a little letter from the author so that's the front and the back really interesting picture because in this picture there's one of her like normal and there's one of her with like black eyes i don't know if you can tell if you get really up close intrigue and then there's this little bookmark i believe there's this little bookmark and another thing lit joy crate does is they do a passport so every time you get an item from them they give you a little sticker it's like a passport sticker, which is kind of cute, and it's just like a cute way to keep track of things. So this says, Young Adult Subscription, May 2021. And you can get a little passport booklet to put that in. But then it has this bookmark, which is cute. Esta and Cassian from the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. It's like a little photo booth thing. That's cute. Okay, and now for the book. So it comes in one of these like little pouches, but I really like that it's black and white and has like a lot of cute things on it. The front says Lit Joy Crate. You can kind of see the book through there though. And this guy up. I have no idea what this book is. I did not spoil myself at all. Ooh, it's sprayed edges and they're really pretty. I like the gold foiling. I'm excited. So this is The Shadow in the Glass. I don't know if you guys have heard of this book. I may have seen it, but I haven't really heard of it. And it says Dare to Make a Wish. And it is by J.J.A. Harwood. And the cover looks like this. And it has really pretty gold foiling on the cover. And it's like a dark green and maybe black, but like also a really dark green. And on the back it says, everything the black eyed woman had promised was true. It wasn't a dream. She could have anything she wanted leave Granborough House. She would reshape her life into a glorious shining jewel and all who saw it would envy her. But if the wishes were real, then so was the price she had to pay. Her soul was no longer her own. That sounds like a dark fairy tale. I love it. And that's the spine. In the back, I think I already showed you. And the sprayed edges are this beautiful, like dark teal, dark green color. I really love this color. It's similar to Dune but darker and murkier and not as bright. So let's see if it has anything under the dust jacket. Ooh, the end papers are really pretty. So it's got this really cool print for the end papers. And the naked hardcover just looks like this, but it does have some gold foiling on the spine. And then there's a, oh, there's art on the reverse side of the dust jacket, but it also has a spine. So I think this is a reversible dust jacket. So it looks like this. And as you can see in the middle, it has a spine, so you could flip this inside out if you like this better. That's a good idea. That's really cool. Okay, and in one of the front pages, it says, an exclusive edition for Lit Joy Crate, The Shadow in the Glass, and it's signed. 
has like a little note in the front, like the shadow in the glass. And then it has the actual title page. Cool, this is really pretty. I really like this. It says, once upon a time, Ella wished for more than a life as a lowly maid. Now forced to work harder under the unforgiving, le lecherous gaze of the man she once called stepfather, Ella's only refuge is in the books she reads by candlelight, secreted away in the library she isn't permitted to enter. And one night her wishes are answered at the stroke of midnight, a fairy godmother makes her an offer that will change her life, seven wishes, hers to make as she pleases. But each wish comes at a price and Ella must decide whether it's one she's willing to pay. So this sounds like a darker, twisted Cinderella retelling with a stepfather and a fairy godmother, but darker and cooler probably. So that's super interesting. I love retellings. So I had no expectations about the book in this box. I was honestly getting it for the items and just because it sounded like a cool idea and I wanted to unbox a new box for you guys. Really glad I got this. Super excited. Let me know in the comments if you guys have heard of this book or if you've read this book and what you think about it. When did this even come out? I know it was this year. Let me see. Okay, this came out May 4th, 2021. It's been out for a few months, but not a long time. So pretty. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. My first Lit Joy Crate unboxing. Let me know if you subscribe to Lit Joy Crate or if this is your first unboxing that you've ever experienced. Let me know if you've heard about this book or what you think about it and be on the lookout for future videos of mine. If you liked this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe if you want to. I would love to have you join the fam and I will see you next time. Bye.